I am not surrounded by multi-million dollar artworks and expensive wallpaper for you to be wearing flip-flops, jeans, or a t-shirt on a date. I have seen this happen where a woman was with a beautiful structured bag, really good shoes, and a beautiful dress, makeup, hair, everything done, and this guy just with zero effort. So that's the world we live in now. Here is a gentleman's guide to dressing the dating dress code edition. So it's so easy for guys to be dressed up, yet they do not do it. One main rule to keep in mind throughout this whole video, keep it simple. When in doubt, keep it simple. Men do not have to pick out a ball gown. If you are unsure, keep it simple. Wear white, black, or navy. You are good. Avoid gray. It is boring and I personally hate it. It is unappro unapproachable. If Brad Pitt was wearing gray, I would just think, really like <laughs> but then again we're not brad pitt here in this situation so i am gia i'm an etiquette consultant based here in los angeles if you'd like an online or in-person lesson visit dixonetiquette.com subscribe for a more elegant lifestyle and sign up to my newsletter for more free etiquette techniques on my links are below so here are all the things to wear and not to wear on dates number one don't wear jeans wear something smarter uh let me just iterate this again don't wear jeans don't wear jeans don't wear jeans and did i mention do not wear jeans if you know she is coming in a beautiful dress uh, make her feel like you are worth how much time she has put into her look planning nail hair and skin appointments for this waxing everything painfully botox and filler injections that's easily 1500 bucks expensive perfume uh, 90 to 150 bucks uh, time in the shower, shaving certain spots, spending a fortune on lasering her body, that's easily 200 plus. The Pilates class she scheduled before this, how expensive each piece of makeup is. It is $90 for my eyeshadow and $45 for my lipstick, her expensive purse, her gorgeous shoes, etc. Her skincare routine probably costs more than how much you spend on groceries in two weeks. I know this because mine does and I do not even have high-end stuff that is really that much all that special, especially if she is a high caliber woman who has a high powered job and who plans to keep it tight until she's 80 years old. Do not wear jeans. So do not wear jeans. Wear smart trousers. Next, never wear a t-shirt. A t-shirt is underwear. I hate when grown men wear t-shirts. You look like a, a child. It tells me you do not know how to dress appropriately for your age. A t-shirt is underwear. Quick story time, I was out with a platonic friend, I was in a beautiful dress that was modest where my shoulders were covered and there was no cleavage showing, it was not short at all, it was a, it was a short dress because I'm petite, but I naturally have long slim legs, but it wasn't like a super short dress, so I was wearing 2.5 inch wedge sandals with it because it was hot and it was daytime, and the wedges were not tall at all, but I know how to dress and they make my legs look longer, so no matter what I do, my legs are going to look long for my height. This guy said, I don't think we can go to this place because you are scantily clad. I sent him to his funeral with a closed casket that his family mourned because I shredded him to pieces. He walked into a blender. I told him I could walk into a mosque right now and people would tell you to put clothes on because you are wearing a t-shirt, basketball shorts, and flip-flops. You are telling me that I am underdressed when you are the one wearing a t-shirt. That is underwear on the outside. He shut up his mouth instantly. Flip-flops are for the beach. Basketball shorts are for basketball. T-shirts are for under T-shirts are underwear. So sweats are for working out. Don't ever wear them out. No athleisure. Next is wear a smart jacket. You can also opt for a beautiful wool, cotton, or cashmere sweater. I personally love cashmere and silk blends. I got this on sale at J.Crew for $37. Let me get it. This beautiful thing that you see in a lot of videos, I have multiples of these um, because I am an expert shopper. So subscribe for that alone and sign up to my email list because uh, baby, I will guide you through the light. For smart jackets, I personally I personally like the style of Ralph Lauren uh, purple label, J. Crew. if you have the budget for it, Xenia or Armani or Savile Row suit makers. For older gentlemen, Brunello Cuccinelli. But if you're young, don't wear Brunello Cuccinelli because you look stupid. Sorry, because I just don't like it. It looks, it's more for older men. Next is no lumberjack shirts, AKA plaid button ups. I was at a concert. There was a line for the bathrooms, for the gentlemen's restrooms, just the gentlemen's restroom. There was a line of 15 men. I remember I counted 15 cause I was standing there in the middle of the courtyard laughing to myself because there were 15 men wearing the same style plaid button-up shirt i don't know where they got it from like old navy or american eagle i don't know where you get those shirts but i just 
was I, th I thought this was so ridicu ridiculous and I counted how many men all look the same with the same dull white guy haircut button up shirt it's not hard to stand out so just dress a little up you'll stand out to your date because I'm sure a lot of guys do not dress up and if they do try to dress up they don't know the rules and they look kind of funny so I'm here to tell you the guidelines today so no lumberjack shirts or plaid button-ups uh, only solids stripes very very small like the really small polka dots or tatter wall if you are Scottish wear your family's tartan that is so sexy i love i have the family tartan i have the pajamas with my monogram and then for christmas we all wear the family tartan it's a tradition wear your family's tartan if you are scottish if that is your heritage i think that's really attractive next is to dress a little bit smarter than normal so just dress up shoes belt and watch make the outfit elegance is in the details shoes shoes need to be clean no scuffs take a simple wiper a, a cloth and wipe it the rule is the sleeker the more formal so more embellishments like laces and brogue layers make them more casual if you have a sleek loafer with velvet or patent leather it is more formal i would stick to a casual dress shoe if it is a first date or if it is a casual date i would even go for a chuka like a suede chuka shoe if you are not wearing like a desert shoe so if you are not wearing a jacket wear a french cut shirt or double cuff i personally am obsessed and have started my own cufflinks collection for cufflinks generally avoid yellow gold go for rose gold or silver instead silver is always timeless just as a heads up so if you propose to a woman give her a silver or white gold ring if the date is more casual single cuff shirts are fine i also love all the different cuff shapes rounded or sharp squared french cuff either way are my two top favorites belts need to be simple make sure uh, that they match your shoes so that's like the general rule but make sure the holes are not worn get a good leather belt for less than 50 dollars anywhere if you can splurge more than that that's great too but make sure that you can take care of it be nice to your belt watches do not have to be opulent or large like flashy jewelry i think it is tacky if a watch is too big if i can see the numbers from across the room your watch is too big wear them at home keep that as your at home watch if or if like you need a <laughs> if you just get a clock at that point i love a simple leather band do not have a casio you are not from the 80s the 80s were terrible to me casio says i do not have a steady job one day when i do i will throw this watch away so avoid casio altogether Elegance is in the details. When in doubt, keep it simple. I will say that one more time for you. Subscribe for more dressing, for more gentlemen's dressing uh, is coming out as I have all the techniques for gentlemen's guidelines when it comes to all the appropriate attire and rules I cannot wait to share with you. Check out my gentlemen's guide playlist and sign up to my newsletter for free etiquette techniques and visit dixonetiquette.com for etiquette classes one-on-one -on -one with me. All my links are below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.